Hello engineers, welcome back to Engineering Design Simplified. In this video series, I will be solving tough engineering mechanics problems. If you want to watch more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel and press that bell button so that you will be notified when I upload a new video. Today's problem is determine the axial forces S1 and S2 induced in the bars AC and BC as shown in figure due to the action of the horizontal applied load at C. The bars are hinged together at C and to the foundation at A and B. In this problem given two bars AC and BC are hinged to the ground at A and B also hinged together at C. At point C there is a force 4450 Newton is applied horizontally. So due to this force we need to find reactions in the bars AC and BC. The dimensions given are shown in figure as the height is given 762 millimeter and distance from here to here is given 610 millimeter and distance from here to here is given 915 millimeter and let us call this angle is beta and this angle is alpha. Let us see in the coming slides how to solve this problem. Here we can form two right angle triangles by drawing a vertical line from C onto this fixed link uh, onto this ground. So let us see this uh, right angle triangle. So tan alpha can be written as tan alpha equal to 762 by 610. So alpha can be written as uh, 51.3 degrees. Uh, from this right angle triangle uh, tan beta can be written as tan beta equal to 762 that is height divided by 915 that is horizontal distance. So from this beta is found as beta equal to 39.8 degrees. Now let us see forces and reactions. So this force 4450 Newton is acting horizontally towards this direction because of this load there will be tension in this bar AC. So direction is shown here and this bar BC will experience a compression and direction is shown here. Now let us draw free body diagram at point C. At point C we have horizontal load 4450 Newton acting towards this direction and a tension S1 is acting towards this direction uh, since this angle is beta, this angle is also beta, so this angle is also beta. Uh, the compression in this bar BC is shown here and since this angle is alpha, this is alpha, this is also alpha. Now let us transfer all these forces and uh, reactions to XY plane. So on this XY plane we have horizontal load 4450 Newton acting towards this direction and this S2 is acting towards this direction. Angle between S2 and horizontal is alpha and S1 is acting towards this direction angle between S1 and horizontal is beta. Since this is alpha and this is beta so total angle between S2 and S1 is alpha plus beta. Since this is alpha plus beta then this side uh, it will be this is alpha and from here to here 180 degrees. So angle between S2 and this force is 180 minus alpha. Similarly this side angle between S1 and this force is 180 minus beta. Now let us write Lamy's theorem. Lamy's theorem is 4450 by sin alpha plus beta equal to S1 by sin 180 minus alpha that is also equal to S2 by sin 180 minus beta that is written here. So from first and second terms we get S1 equal to 4450 into sin 180 minus alpha by sin alpha plus beta. After substituting the angles and all the values and then simplification we get S1 equal to 3474 Newton. And from first and last terms of Lamy's theorem we have seen in previous slide. Uh, we can write S2 equal to 4450 into sin 180 minus beta by sin alpha plus beta. So after substituting all the values and simplification we get S2 equal to 2849 Newton. That's all for today's video. If you like this content, please like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching.